Hello and welcome back to the stream. I've done a bit of checking with the sound, hopefully there should be a less of that annoying scatter in the background. We shall see. If it does get on your nerves, you can kinda get around it by turning the volume down and it should be less annoying. Um, but hopefully I won't be clipping over the game this time, which is an absolutely horrendous thing to do with a sound engineer. Um, it's actually quite embarrassing to know that I just did that. Now I like the fact that you can seemingly transfer empires and presumably don't have to pay the looks of it. Um, there was a button there on the main screen which allows you to do that. Let's have a look. Oh, and once again I have set up my buildings so that they don't produce anything. I think I can understand why they don't produce anything at this point because from the looks of it you can produce multiple things so they wouldn't want to automatically produce it if there was more than one thing but maybe if there's one thing it should just start producing whatever because I don't care for clicking on buildings it's boring, it's dull, it doesn't add anything to the gameplay they should really do something to address that I'm sure it's not a complaint that only I will have Let's see. So, my next long term objective is to get one of these stores. In order to get one of these stores, I will have to acquire much more gold. In order to acquire much more gold, I could use the auction. You'll see down here that there are a lot of people selling things and being very stupid about it, but I'm not going to flood the channel with annoying advertisements for my services. I am instead going to see if I can get some more points through quests. This is going to be a very quest-oriented progress from now on. I will be sticking largely to that. I don't want to bore you to death with grinding of any kind, so you will not be seeing that from me. Can I get a new advisor? I might be able to get an age free advisor now as well. Um, the answer to that is no. I can't purchase it from the Empire store. I will probably need a different kind of store to do that. Um, I go to not that one. Um, it can also be a little bit difficult trying to figure out which store you need for certain things. I mean, they've got little icons on top of them, but you kind of have to figure out and remember what all of these do. That's probably more a fault on my part than uh, any particular fault of the game. It, doesn't, it would be actually quite annoying to have tags above them. Um, I still want to see what that looks like, but since we're not paying for the game, it makes sense that that doesn't show up at all. So, as I said last time, I will definitely be paying for this game. It just seems worthwhile. It just seems to justify um, the money. It's a great game. It's solid. It's expansive. And I'm really enjoying it so far, even considering the streaming and how that kind of distracts me from the game. I've been really enjoying it. Herculo surrounds Messene, but to attack Fiestes in my own home city would be folly. We need a clever distraction. Once again, we need you. Lead a raid against the farming outpost that supplies most of his army's food. Hungry men will think twice in supporting a false king. Herculos will provide you with some battering rams. Use them to wreck the enemy buildings, but be sure to protect the rams against infantry and cavalry. Presumably not that worried about protecting them against archers there. So, destroy houses, destroy farms, destroy stables. So this is get used to battering rams. Good. Straight away into A3 and the first thing they're introducing me to is battering rams. So they obviously understand that mastering these is important to finish the game in any reasonable amount of time. Let's accept that and make our way to the mission. Uh, so just go and check something before we start, check the chat, make sure everything's working as intended.
And the answer is yes. Wonderful. Pause that stream, go back to here, try and remember the magic key combinations I've set up, and back to the game. Good, 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 good. good. If you want to improve your game, keep training villagers all the time. Yes, I'm terrible at this. I haven't quite worked out build orders of any kind because I haven't been trying. I've just been trying to keep it going and keep it interesting. But um, I should always be training infantry, uh, infantry villagers. And by not doing that, I am putting myself at a huge disadvantage by the time I get into PvP. Fortunately, I now have that, so it should make it easier to avoid making that mistake. Do I have a scout? I do have a scout. Scout, go scout. Well, that's not a very good start, is it? If you excuse me, I'm just going to go test something. I do apologise for the break. In fact, you know what? If you're having any problems, let me know on the stream chat and I shall address them there. Thank you. Oh dear. So there is an enemy city there, there are three people to kill over there, and oh good, wants to destroy, maim, burn and slaughter. Mm -hmm. Definitely need more of those guys. Oops, more of those guys. Yes, yes, go away. Well, that's interesting. I'm clicking to close these and they're not going away. Woo! Woo! Is that a lag? That must be lag. I play the lag. You need a damn sight more food to do that, sir. Yay! Golden Age! You know, I might take one of these guys and build a guard tower just for seeing what's going on outside my base. I will, however, need stone to do that. Oh, these are the animations are lovely. I just love the way they've been created. Nice, stylized, interesting, colourful. Okay, quite a slow start to this game, um, probably not a good idea to be using these farms when I could be using these bushes actually, and I never make use of any cows or deer or whatever, I should probably do that as well, and once again I am not producing villages, I've even been told off for this and I'm still continuing to not build them. Ah, <sighs> silly. Oh, let's get the scout out of there, because there's no point sending him into combat, even if he does happen to have um, an item which gives him more defence. Okay, get more food. And you as well. So yes, this is uh, quite a bit slower than the previous games, because I am... Um, wanting to produce a variety of units before I go in there. Given the size of the attacks he's sending, I definitely don't want to go in there without um, a fair few units. And again, this game doesn't punish you for turtling. Um, not just in the quest, but from the looks of it, in the general gist of the game, there is a turtle victory in the form of the wonders, which should greatly improve things. I don't have any clue what that guy's doing, but it's no concern of mine, I guess. If he wants to go and run into the woods, 
for whatever purposes, we shall not ask too many questions. Mm, I seem to be getting into an awful lot of fights over here. And he's got a lot of cavalry as well, I should probably be producing more spearmen. In fact, because I'm going to be def need to defend my archers, I definitely want to be producing more spearmen. Get their bonus as well. Produce more villagers, more, more, more villagers. They are a very important part of my army. Or at least my macro. And shall we see how goes a preliminary attack? Go and destroy that watch post, pillage a bit over here. Uh, yeah, let's kill that first and then go and pillage. What, 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 what? I appear to have uh, managed to deselect my barracks. Or I completely forgot to hotkey them. It was very, very silly. Let's produce some spearmen. Now, although this game has obvious counters, like um, cavalry are good against archers and infantry are good against XYZ, uh, depending on what type they are, I get the feeling that. Producing more is going to make you win, and this is a staple of RTS games. If you are more efficient, you should win, even if your opponent um, has better micro and chooses the right kind of units. So, getting your micro, getting your build orders up is going to be as important in this as any other competitive game, and I think that's a very good thing. It means that it's not going to lag behind other competitive games which is something you want. If the game's going to be taken seriously, it needs those kind of features where people can get up to a high standard. It needs a, great, um, a high learning curve, where you can learn it relatively easily, but to master it is incredibly difficult. And I think this game has got that quite well. Although possibly the quests are a little bit slow in getting up to speed with things, but that's a nitpicky complaint, I shouldn't really complain about that. Okay. Right, now this is a perfect moment where those battering rams would have come in handy, but I wasn't sure if that attack was going to work. I'm going to retreat now and produce more guys. I'm not producing villagers! But only oh dear, I need a house. So I don't have to worry about supply once you start doing that as well, which is, again, standard fare for games of this type, and there is nothing wrong with that whatsoever. In fact, it's amazing how many ideas from the core Age of Empires mechanics have since found their way into modern RTS games. The Age of Empires series is a stalwart example of a game that defined a genre. It really did, and by polishing those aspects and improving on it, what you have here is a very well-crafted game that can be played by a lot of people, but can also be taken very, very seriously if you choose to do so. Now then. Uh, didn't I set a village to go and do... Oh, he's up there. Okay, fair enough. Um, we should probably also build a guard tower to support my troops when they are on defensive duties and you were not meant to be selected at all. I think one of my villages is 